Are you considering relocating to Vancouver Island and deciding whether to live in either Nanaimo or Duncan? Well, there are many different factors to consider based off home prices, ease of access, and quality of life. Come with me as I break down the differences between these two amazing places here on Vancouver Island. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. It lets us know what we're doing you like and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's talk about these comparisons. People looking to move to Vancouver Island are spoiled for choices when it comes to considering where they're going to call home. This is a spectacular area of British Columbia, given its access to endless forests, lakes, and coastlines. But what is going to be the best choice for you? It depends on your needs for access, access to amenities, socialization, and employment. Now let's talk about the locations and access. Nanaimo is commonly called the Harbour City, located right along the ocean. It's also referred to as the Hub City, as it's one of the main points to enter to come to Vancouver Island from Vancouver. Duncan is found in the heart of the Cowichan Valley, known for its wineries, cultural heritage, and unmatched agricultural products from its fertile farmlands. To get here though, you must first arrive in either Nanaimo and Victoria via ferry or seaplane, then drive to Duncan. Now, from Nanaimo, this is going to be about 50 kilometers going south, and from Victoria, it's about 60 kilometers going north on some extremely annoying highways. Now, in regards to population and demographics, Nanaimo has a population of around 110,000 people and is one of Canada's top five growing cities. The population is projected to continue to grow due to its large number of families, retirees, and students relocating to Nanaimo. Now, the city of Duncan is actually only a population roughly around 5,000 people. However, if you consider the surrounding areas, places like Maple Bay, Lake Cowichan, and the smaller farm communities, this area altogether is called the Cowichan Valley and probably has a population of around 90,000 people. Now regarding weather, the Nanaimo and Duncan areas are relatively the same, though during the summer months, Duncan can get considerably warmer. This is due to Duncan getting no calm ocean breezes because it's so much further inland from the Salish Sea. Duncan and the Cowichan Valley can be 5 degrees warmer, which is a big difference when it's already 28 degrees in Nanaimo. And this is especially true in places like Lake Cowichan or Shawnigan Lake. These lake communities get very hot during the summer. Home prices are relatively the same in both Nanaimo and Duncan. Some examples of less expensive homes do exist though in the more remote areas of the Cowichan Valley. Though, one thing you do need to be aware of is the Cowichan Valley is known for their spectacular vacation properties. Places like Lake Shawnigan and Lake Cowichan have stunning lake cottages and cabins. I would say Nanaimo though has more permanent residents and less fluctuations in the population due to seasonal tourism. These lake communities in the Cowichan Valley explode in popularity during the summertime. Now a big question that comes up is the crime and homeless population. And both Nanaimo and Duncan's downtown cores have a small homeless population, some of whom struggle with addiction and mental health issues. Typically they're quite polite as they ask you for change and thank you whether or not you give them something. It's no cause for personal concern, but I know these people have nowhere to go and everybody has a right to exist just like you and me.
Now the main differences between Nanaimo and Duncan is based off your preference. Nanaimo is right on the ocean, whereas Duncan is more inland. Duncan and the Couchin Valley is an excellent choice if you're looking for a more rural setting and disconnecting from civilization. Nanaimo has more access to the mainland and amenities of a medium-sized city. Personally, I choose to live in Nanaimo as it gives me access to Duncan and the Couchin Valley within a 30-minute drive and access to Parksville and Qualicum within a 30-minute drive. Regardless of your choice, living on Vancouver Island will significantly improve your quality of life. I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you want to learn more about doing so, I'd definitely check out this video right here or this video right here.